So hello everybody and thank you for joining me again. This is Kevin and uh, today we are going to be taking a look at Adobe Captivate and some of the new features for 2019, specifically the assets panel and getting started with some project templates. So let's dive in. So let's start out by looking at a blank project here inside of Captivate. Now this version would be 11.5 if you have not uploaded or updated your Captivate recently. So notice on the top right here, we have the Assets tab. This has been moved from the center over to the right-hand side. So let's double click on it and you will see that we are presented with a menu of Assets, Discover, and Downloads. And on the left-hand side, we have a bunch of other options as well. So let's start by taking a look at Assets. And when you click Assets, you will have these two choices, Projects and Characters on the left-hand side. The projects are going to allow you access to these quick start projects, which have basically everything that you need to get started. And you can select only the slide types that you need for your particular project, or you can select all of them. We'll get into that shortly. Now the characters window you will notice here has all these different characters that you can usually use in Adobe Captivate that you may be quite used to. But if you click on characters and then click on discover, you will notice that you're taken to the eLearning Brothers library of characters. So you have access to all of these as well. So let's jump back into assets. Now, down below here, we also have available to use icons. 360 assets. Now this is going to give you some uh, good head starts for some 360 type videos that you may want to produce. You have images which are JPEG images, MP4 videos, Wave Audio, and customizable buttons. These buttons work like any other buttons inside of Captivate. They can be triggered any way you want them to. So that's basically it, guys, there. But when you, one thing I wanted to let you know is when you click on images or video and you go to Discover, just wanted to make you aware that you're taken to the Adobe Stock Library. So if you have a stock subscription, you can go ahead and search for any number. But the cool thing is you can also search inside of, right inside of images and videos in this panel for any assets that you might want right from within inside. So that's kind of what they've done with the assets panel. Let's go ahead up to projects and click on projects. So we have uh, all of these different projects available to us as starter templates, but it wouldn't be fair to call them starter templates because they're so rich in what they provide for you. So let's go ahead and start by clicking on the league. Now, when we click on the league, what we'll see is all of these um, individual slides that have just about everything you could possibly imagine for a type of slide, overviews, objectives, knowledge checks, all sorts of different interactions, right? So you have multiple choices now once you're here. You can actually go in here and click on individual ones that you want and then come down to the very bottom and on the bottom you would just hit insert those slides and you could pick and choose exactly what you want and only what you want. Now if you wanted to import all 44 you could hit this box which would select all of them and it would take a little while to download. Now the next option is kind of cool. See along the top here you have this menu. You can choose from just menu items, just layouts, objectives, so all slides related to that slide type will show up when you click. And you can go ahead and pick from that too. So that lets you make your selections a little bit easier. So just for the sake of this demonstration, let's go ahead and just do the welcome and insert that one slide. Now that we are actually viewing our template, you can see that our slide is customizable completely. You can click on the text, you can click on any of the boxes and change any of these assets in the properties area just as you would any other slide. Okay, so notice how that if we go to the properties tab underneath, we'll see one theme applied which is Pearl. Now the really cool thing about what Adobe Captivate has done this year in this latest update is that it allows you to have more than one theme per project. So right now we have the Perl theme applied to our project, which gives us these font specific looks, uh, specific colors, etc. 
But if I come up here with this slide selected to themes, I can then come down to these other available themes of which there are, I believe, 12 of them, and I can actually apply more themes to this one project. So for example, if I want to choose this theme called Coastal, for example, I can apply the Coastal theme just to this slide. And you'll see it will change the text, the font, and so on and so forth. Now, if I had more than one slide in this project, but I'm just showing you this for a demonstration, you could have any number of themes uh, applied to any number of slides. So now when we come back up, we have this choice of right clicking and we can apply it to all slides, to the selective slides only, or to matching slides. So basically what that means is we could retheme everything or we could check just X number of slides and apply it to only those. Or matching slides means that if you have already selected X number of slides to change the theme to, but you wanted to change your mind, but not go back and do them one by one again, you could apply a new theme to all slides that had a new theme applied to it. So anyways, guys, um, I hope that has been helpful to you. That's basically a quick look out at, at the new assets panel and uh, how to get started with some theme templates inside of Captivate. We are going to have a whole lot more on this subject. I want to thank you for joining me, guys. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.